Hey, what is up guys? We are out here fishing, obviously. And I'm in a little back creek. And what we are doing is looking for gizzard shad. I can see a little busting going on, but we're gonna be using our drone to try and find these bigger gizzard shad. We got a drone sitting right here. We're gonna put that up in the air and start scouting for good bait. So. All right, we're getting ready to set up on these fish. Just had a boat go by and disturb the water. So hopefully I can still see down in there to see some fish. But we'll get this guy ready to go. Not seeing anything yet, but all right, there's us. Let's find north here. I'll keep the boat pointed in that direction so we can follow the drone. And there's a ball right there in front of us. Now I know these are gonna be smaller fish. I'm wanting to throw next to this ball of fish and that's where we're going to find these bigger gizzard shad all right let's throw this net but yeah you guys there is just bait all over this place and this drone makes it so much easier to find i see guys doing this in salt water a lot and i'm here on the ohio river which is muddy 90 percent of the time and you just can't see, you just can't see bait. Oh. All right. Well, I definitely hit the bait ball there. But we don't want these small guys, we want the big ones. You know what that is? That's skipjack. Over you there. That's a little skipjack. Perfect little baits. I love throwing these below the dam on jig heads. Catching anything. These even work back in these back creeks like we're at today. For hybrids, catfish, sauger, white bass, drum. I've caught a lot of drum on these. So cool. This is crazy. You can literally just see the entire ball. Get some bigger shad. Come on, big shad. Bunch of baby fish in that school. But I'm constantly seeing bigger fish bust these schools. There's a the gizzard shed. Check that out. Gizzard shed. So. I'm going to continue flying around and looking for this bait and then we're just going to head on out here and start fishing. I know if I throw long enough, I'm going to end up getting something really good. You know there's big fish sitting right next to these schools of bait fish. These are just yearlings. Now I did bring some frozen skipjack with me, but I never catch anything on it. Only fresh. Oh, there we go. Got some nice bait there. There's another little skipjack. Now, I got a really nice filter and pump in my truck. But these fish are what you call pelagic. These fish die out of water really fast. They need constant oxygen. Such as uh, skipjack, gizzard shad, moon eye. These are going to be your pelagic fish. And they need really good oxygen and a really good filter or they just die and the meat starts breaking down as soon as possible so i'll get them out of the water and throw them right in here on my ice down in there as soon as i'm ready
So there was another thing I wanted to note here as we're flying upriver, and that is these drones are very versatile tools for fishermen. Now, I usually use this when I'm bank fishing to scout areas and look for main channel ledges. And as you can see here next to this black bait ball in the center of your screen, look right to the left of that, and you can see two tan lines, and that is the main channel ledge. So if you're a bank fisherman, it's a very useful tool to look for fish shallow, like carp on the bank, and finding main channel ledges and sh cover and structure, or just scout an area for fishing spots, such as creeks, rivers, and lakes. Overall, it is a great technology, and it is very fun to use. And you can also use these to drop baits. You can get a bigger drone and drop baits from them right on top of fish. You'll see that in saltwater a lot. I'll leave some links in the description on what type of drone I use and some other videos that may be useful to you guys. Ta-da! Easy as that. All right, we got plenty of bait, so... Now I really want to go out here and set up for some catfish because that is my favorite fish to target, especially this time of year. I'm still looking for that post-spawn bite, but I keep seeing all these fish busts back here, the, all these hybrids and bass. I almost want to throw some of these smaller baits out and jig for them, but I'm not going to. They're going to be here, so I'm just going to head on out here. Let's head on out here to this river before I get too distracted and it gets too late. <laughs> all right, I made it to my first anchor spot here. And I actually just got done making a drift sock out of a five gallon bucket. Uh, my boat's been swaying real bad from left to right when I'm anchor fishing, or even when I got my uh, spot lock on on the trolling motor. So I figured, what the heck, let's try a bucket until I get me an actual drift sock. I'm just gonna lock to the back of my boat there. And we are gonna see if it works. I'm gonna put it right about there. Tie this on right about here. And sure enough, it's not sinking, it's floating pretty good. I wasn't really drifting as much, but I can tell a little difference with this bucket on here. It's pulled me a little bit more to the right. It should really be wide off with a harness and the center of the boat is gonna be the best from what I researched, but I've seen guys just put it on one side as well. well I'll be. that gizzard shed head on there just a little crooked got some brand new mustad demon perfect circle nine knot they're nine knots i know i keep preaching this in my videos but i used to swear by gamagatsu but now all i use is the mustad demon perfect circle and their nine knot is the same size as a gamagatsu a dot made me some new sinkers too i got a new sinker mold needed some six and eight ounce sinkers for this heavier current Now I'm just fishing this point here. Used auto chart live to make me a map. I got a hummingbird Helix 5 Gen 2. And as you can see, auto chart live is amazing. You can make your own Navionics map. I'm here in this creek mouth. It took me 10 minutes, five minutes maybe to mark, drive up and down three or four passes make this and as you can see I'm up in 30 foot 34 foot of water and I'm gonna cast it out around this point here into these high 30s and 40s I feel like these catfish will move up into this creek or move out of this creek here we go we got some play looks like he might be on there yes I do have a fish on there There we go. Just getting ready to take the boat in, put it on the trailer. We got us a fish. 
we got plenty of bait to freeze and throw in the freezer for the next trip. And it looks like a little flathead. To end our video here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that little trick on catching bait and this little flathead. Oh, look at that. He's got a little leech on him. Hang on, buddy. There. I freed you of the leech. And that's going to do it. We will see you guys on the next video. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, check out one of these videos up here or over here.